Bandon's alive. What happened to Skull Mountain? The boy's magic grows stronger, corrupted by the Warlock Blade. It is guiding him to resurrect his master. The Warlock Lord? No, I thought Will's father killed him with the Sword of Shannara. The Warlock Lord took measures to ensure his death was not final. His followers hid his heart, his head, his blade, hoping that he could be reborn. Shay and I have recovered his blade and his head, but his followers got away with his heart. Bandon recovered it. Great. So he's one piece away from bringing back another dark druid. Why didn't you just destroy the head? I said the Warlock Lord took measures to ensure that wasn't possible. You do not understand magic, Your Highness. The whole thing plays right into the Crimson's hands. It confirms everything General Reeg has been saying about the danger of magic. At least tell me you hid that head in a place where Bandon can't find it. Of course I did. But do not underestimate the boy. We must be ready for him. And you must make sure that your kingdom does not fall apart at the seams. It's easier said than done. My people are still in camps. They're tired and, and afraid and... And I'm the king they're left with. Which many don't find encouraging and right now, I... I can hardly blame them. Then what you need is support. In their quest to eradicate magic, the Crimson will stop at nothing. No race will be spared. Queen Tamlin has reached out to me. She's offered an alliance between the elves and the humans. Then you must speak with her. But the truth is you cannot face the Crimson or the Warlock Lord alone. 